and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today we'll be talking about the having keyword in sql now sometimes where can't do it all so you then have a different word you can use because you know you can use where like fairly simply so we go like that and then we can say where customer ID is less than let's say 20 run that where works perfectly fine but as soon as we add an aggregate function here or just something such as max min sum where starts to get a little bit strange because you can't quite use it like that so, so let me give you an example so let's say we want to I should have actually saved that previous example. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's say we have this, which is from the previous video. Basically, if you run it, it just counts all of the people in that specific country. So, let's say we want to, we need to get rid of this order by. Let's say we want to do a where clause here. So, we want to say where the count of where this is more than five so let's say where count is more than five run that sql it's going to say what w what do you mean that is because where cannot work when there is something such as a count or a sum min max when that that's in the code where it kind of gets a little confused on what to actually do that's where having comes into play it's a lot like where but it can be used with aggregate functions. As you can see, now only the ones with more than five customers gets added here. And if you wanted to order it, it's still possible. We can just go to the next line and say order order by count star. And there we go. Now it's ordered. So having is basically used whenever where cannot be used. So if you ever find problems with where and you just cannot figure out what to do, there's a good chance you're probably using some aggregate great aggregate function somewhere and you don't and you don't know. So you can look for that and if you find one you know you can probably use having with that. And yeah, also another thing to take note of now that we are working with a lot more complicated expressions. We should take note of what we're actually doing. We can actually just remove this to just make it a bit easier to read right now. So let's start. We first say what we want to select. Then we say from where we want to select it. And then we group it by. Because as long as we group it by, we want to put it inside of a clause that will go, hey, that is, that's what we want to do with what we have. Then we say where or have. And then at the end, we order it. I remember in school, the syntax got kind of confusing for some of the kids in the class. So one thing to do is if you ever get confused, like let's say you do this, run it and you get this. I mean, usually what you have to do is you just have to, because we already know these have to be at the beginning. So it's only, and this one has to be at the end. So it's only these two that is really what's going on. So we know we can just do that. Oh, whoops. So we know we can just do that because order by comes last. Yeah, that is actually all there was to it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and did understand. And see you all again in the next video.